and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to decorate my spread for next week December 6th through the 12th and I've been really wanting to use these beautiful poinsettia stickers, the pink ones in this posh winter book. So I'm going to start out with these. It's like a really pretty like a bright pink with some gray and green leaves and then I think I'm going to complement with them with the some stickers from the wrong wrong holiday sticker book and I will put both of the links in the description box. The code for my Live Love Posh uh, affiliate link is Michelle10 and that'll save you 10% on everything on her site uh, except for Posh Boxes. And then for Wrong Wrong it is also Michelle10 and I will include both links in the description box. But other than that I'm going to go ahead and get started. I may end up pulling some other sticker books as we go but I'm just in love with these pink flowers. They're so pretty. Okay, so I think I want to start out with this really pretty skirt. It's like a pink tulle skirt, a really full skirt with the Christmas lights. And it says Fall La La. That is so cute. I'm going to put that right here in the sidebar. Actually, I think I'm going to scoot it down and then I'm going to trim off those lights that are hanging over and I'll use those somewhere else. Okay, so I'll just hold on to that and that'll be a cute little accent to kind of tie it together. I could do this, uh, this little mug. That is so cute and it says making spirits bright. I don't know, maybe I'm going to put this aside and put down some of the poinsettias. Let's see. Maybe not a super large set just yet. Let's do this one right here. Do I need to cover that up maybe? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to white out that little section that says note. So you can't see through it. These are just so pretty. I love these stickers. I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to put this little mug right next to that little poinsettia cluster and let that be my quote, so to speak. So I'm going to trim off this part and go ahead and put it somewhere else. What if I just do it like this? And then I'll kind of fill up the sidebar with a few more things. Oh, look at this pink and green ornament. How would that look? Maybe we'll use that over on the other side though. Not yet. Okay, now back to the poinsettias. Let's get another, like a little small grouping. Just peeking onto the page. Like right there and I'm going to trim off this and use it maybe at the bottom. Next to the girl with the skirt. Oh I forgot I have those lights too I can use somewhere. Use those. All right I'm going to put this corner piece aside and I think what I want to do is trim off some of these little gray leaves to kind of peek out underneath that mug. Just kind of look like it's supporting it. Okay, I'll do these right here and that doesn't damage that sticker at all. I can still use that somewhere else. I'm going to lift this up and just kind of put it under there like it's part of the cluster because it kind of just drops off and leaves that mug hanging. Okay, perfect. And then maybe what about some of these also? These other berry things.
Okay, I think that's kind of cute. And let's see. How about these little gray leaves? Because it needs one more something kind of floating down in the middle. Okay, cute. And then I'm gonna do one more just because it looks like it needs something else. Then we'll move on to the rest of the spread. All right, and then over in this corner, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use this really large corner piece for balance because it needs a little something over there or a big something to balance out that girl in the skirt. Okay, I think that's really pretty. And I think I want also, I need something up here. So let's see what else we have. Let's do this smaller one, this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half though. And I think I'll just take the, like the larger portion and put it over here. Okay, now I wanna incorporate another, like another girl or, um, you know, like a larger wrong wrong element over there. So I think this one is really cute, but I don't really like how dark it's, a lot of it is that dark blue. So let me see what else I could come up with. I like the pink tree, but I think in relation to like the size of the poinsettias and everything, I don't think that's gonna work. I did find a smaller one of her I could use. That way it's not so much of the dark blue. I'm gonna put that there tentatively, but let me look. I want a quote, and I can't find any black Christmas quotes, not very many anyway, big ones, but I have this in my little quotes book, and it says very important stuff. I thought I'd take the very off and then spell out Mary in some, like some alphabet stickers. So, I'm, and I have two of these. I've had them forever. So, let's do that, and then, I want to spell Mary. Okay, I could do it with these black letters. So let's see, how about... But if we do it over here, like right beside this girl. I don't know if I want to keep them straight or kind of bouncy like that. I think that's kind of cute, so I'm going to go with that right now. that's cute. I just need to scoot the very over. Okay. So that gives me one quote and I can probably round up a smaller black one. Okay. I'm going to take it's storming outside if you guys hear that. I'm gonna take this, the rest of the lights that I cut off from here and put it up here. And I think that'll kind of frame that quote cute and then bring in some of the same element that's over there. 
I almost wish I had more of those lights. Those are super cute. All right, and now I think I am gonna take off this fa la la and put it up here, like maybe up here. I just think that's cute. Should I put it there or here? I think there's good. Okay, I've been thinking about what color boxes I want to do, and I think what I decided to do is the pink boxes and the jewel tone boxes are this perfect color of pink right here. So I'm going to use this one, and I think I want to put it over here, but I'm going to probably cover up that that says important. I just don't like um, all those colors with it. So I'm going to do that, and let's see, and go ahead and just wipe that out. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there yet. All right, and then, let's see. Okay, what I want to do, I think, is use this larger pink box. Okay, so like that. I think that's pretty cute. I want to do a couple of, what if I place all the boxes within this? I think that could be cute. I'm going to put this over here. This is something totally different, but let's try it. And then over here, let's do... I'll just raise the edge of this girl up so I can layer this underneath her. So we just do all the boxes in the middle, just for something fun. This piece here. Just go ahead and tear that in half. Okay, before I go any further, I'm gonna go to the quotes that I found in here in this same old old sticker book collection. Okay, right here. So I want to use just some of these plain black quotes kind of layered in within this middle section. And this totally was not what I was planning, but that's kind of what it morphed into, but I'm digging it. So Christmas cheer there, and let's see, it says, no time, there's no time like the present. That's just nice and black and white and understated. I'm going to add another box over here. I'm liking the way it's looking. I've got one here. It's kind of a medium shape. Let's see. Maybe I should put it here because that way it'll have a little bit of balance because this one's a little higher. And then I can scoot this quote up and do a skinnier box at the bottom. I think that might be cute. So I'll put there's no time like the present right there. And then I have this one. Let me scoot it over some. I kind of like how these are not touching. I really kind of want to use this ornament. 
Where could I use that? I don't want to use it right over her head. I think that is cute. And I'm going to do the draw the little line because I just think it looks so cute like that. I'm going to scoot it up a little bit. Oh, okay, that's pretty cute. I kind of even want it to be higher though, but I want it to be layered off that box, so I don't know. Let's see. Let's just do it right up here. Okay, that's pretty cute. And then I have a pink Christmas sweater. I'm going to just cut it where it looks like it's halfway on the page. All right, it's coming together. Right here, I need a little bit of something else. Let's do, what about this little eyeshadow palette? That's so cute. It says holiday cheer. Let's do it right here. I think that goes better because this is getting, getting a little busy, but I do want something there. What if we do just one of these little nail polishes, like the green one, for something over here? Because there's kind of a lot of pink over there and that'll kind of break it up. All right, that's cute. And I want to add some more flowers. I know I keep going back and forth, but kind of how you have to do sometimes, just kind of balance everything. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, let's do that, except part of it is hanging off the end, and that's not going to work for me. Not going to work, but I can make it, look, make it look like it stops sooner. There we go. And let's also do a little bit right here. Let's do a smaller one. Let's see what would work here. This piece right here. Yeah, just a little bit right down here. Okay, I am totally digging it. Now I need some more flower action over here. A little bit here. Okay, so over here, let's just do a little bit of these, the little uh, grayish leaves. Perfect. Now, like I said, I need to dress these up. I'm going to do this little piece on top of this one because it already has a ball there, so I don't want to go too crazy. Just right in there. Okay. I'm going to just do a little bit of this over here. I'm just going to lay it down lightly there and trim it off. thinking I do need a little bit more floral action across the top and bottom. So let me go ahead and trim some of these. So 
this piece over here, let's see, I feel like this piece is a little bit smaller, so I'm going to put it right here across where that ornament is. Then over here, we'll do that one. Okay, y'all, I'm loving this so much. I know it's I don't know for how long it's taking. It seems like it's taking a while, but I won't know until I start editing, but it is just so much fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do this piece across the top here. And something oh so small at the bottom. So I have I have this leaf and to kind of camouflage where it looks like it's been cut, we'll use just this one little gray leaf. Right there. Okay, now we need a little bit on the bottom of this too. Something pink. Okay, let's go with, oh, here's a leaf. something at the bottom okay now I want to use some of this down here at the bottom. Right here. Okay, and then over here, let's take this one in half. Feel like it needs somewhat of a little border. I kind of just like that big piece, so I'm going to move this maybe somewhere to the top. I don't know. Let's see. bit going on over here on the sides of these it's just so pretty and dainty I just love this pink I'm having such a good time should I do some here too to kind of break up these items I think I will wait let me just go ahead and use this side that's already cut just cut off the parts that you can tell were cut. Okay. There we go. And 
I am going to add a few more black words and bullet points here in just a minute, and that is going to be it. I kind of got carried away, but they're so pretty. Sometimes less is more, and sometimes more is more, you know what I mean? So I'm going to grab my little black words, and I'm going to grab these because I do have a birthday this week to note. It is my friend Lindsay's son's birthday on the 6th. Eris' birthday, he's three. So I do want to note that and I can go ahead and put one of those black and white stickers. So for that, I think I'll do a... Okay, so let's do one of these cakes for Eris' birthday. Right here. I'm gonna go through and just add some of these. Let's say shopping here. And over here, over here, let's do the plan because this is like a long little list of things. And I think that is all, I think that's all I'm going to add there. I'm going to just add some bullet points and call this one good because I really, really like the way it's looking. Okay, what if I do like this hot pink for bullet points? Let's see. I want to do a couple here. And let's do some over here. Definitely right there. I kind of like the bright pink with it. And then let's do some here. kind of straight and then let's do some here and that's going to be it do a few more bullet points. I just feel like it needs them just for function. Let's put a couple here. All right, I'm going to call this spread done. I think it's so pretty and girly and it's got it does have a lot going on, I agree, but I do feel like it has a lot of function with the boxes in here, lots of white space to write and then the bullet points. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm super excited about this pink Christmas spread. Thank you for hanging out with me and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.